Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is The Red Wizard, and I'm a hand-cut collage artist based in Buffalo, New York. Five years ago, I decided to make art using only traditional collage art methods, using things like scissors, paper, and glue. About two years ago, I created this channel to share DIY and tutorial content. Since then, I've had some success. I've recently made content for Mountain Dew, I have about a half a dozen wine label designs circulating nationally. I blew up on TikTok with millions of views. However, that's not what I'm here for. As an artist, I'm at a crossroads. I am leaving the road of what I know, and I'm continuing my journey as an artist down a path of uncertainty. I'm learning new things and experimenting with different methods. This is my weekly vlog where I will be sharing my insights and showing you a sneak peek of my projects as they form. Why am I messing around making comics and zines when I'm typically a, quote, collage artist? Lately, I've been buying hundreds of comics, not only for inspiration, but for collage making. After creating uh, my first handful of zines, I've been purchasing many more zines at local comic book shops. I wanted to learn how other zinesters were making zines, and I wanted to see what materials and experimental things they were doing with them. Ah, but what happened was I kind of rediscovered my love for comics. Um, I found zines that were self-published comics, and then I discovered weird and crazy independent comics with adult themes. My favorite indie comic I recently found is called Vacuum Decay. Vacuum Decay is a compilation of bizarre hand-drawn black and white horror and sci-fi comics compiled by California-based artist Harry Nordlinger. I'll put a link of the Vacuum Decay website in the show notes. When I was young, I loved comics, particularly the Fantastic Four. Something about the retrofuturism of the aliens, the technology, and of course, the giant planet-eating god robot, Galactus. Occasionally as a boy, I would accidentally buy a comic similar to Vacuum Decay, full of wild horror and black-and-white marker-drawn gore. I love those even more. When I was young, I didn't read comics. I would stare at them. I would stare at the pictures, and I didn't know it, but I was figuring out how the artist drew them. I was fascinated with the different faces and bodies of the monsters. Side note, I want to thank my mom and dad because when my parents, when I was little, when my parents got home from dinner, if they ate seafood, they would bring home the crab claws so I could look at them, and I would stare at those things too. I always loved monsters. The xenomorph from the movie Alien, was, which was originally designed by the surrealist artist H.R. Geiger, was what made me want to be an artist to begin with. I think lately I've been bummed that I'm not making my own monsters. I also feel a need to share my own far-out sci-fi stories that I've been writing on my own. But as a rule, four years ago I told myself I would be a collage artist exclusively, and the Red Wizard is sticking to it. So this takes me on my next cosmic art journey. How can I make collage art inspired by the monsters and superheroes I fell in love with as a kid? The answer is somewhere in these thin comic book papers, and all I gotta do is cut these comics up to find out. Thank you for listening to my thoughts. This is The Red Wizard, September 28th, 2021, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, location, Earth Planet, Milky Way, Galaxy. Peace, love, and paper.